What is going on, guys? I believe this is the Soval SV06 3D printer. Basically, a brand new printer that's come out that is on the budget range. So we're going to do an unboxing of this and find out a little bit more about it. Let's get straight on into this one. Aha, look at that. In fact, we had a box in a box. So this is definitely the Solval SV06. So let's get this unboxed and get straight on into this one. Here we go. You are watching a master at work. So far, so good. We've got a couple of extra connectors here. Um, if you've done an Ender 3 before and built one of those, or if you've built a any cubic or any kind of the Creality range, really, um, with the bed slinger, this is kind of that sort of printer. Um, there's a couple of things right off the bat that I've noticed. Obviously, we've got twin Zs here. They are on linear rails. The bed's also on linear rails, which is certainly encouraging. Um, the bed does seem to be not as magnetically fixed as perhaps I'd like, but I guess depending on what you're printing, that will kind of make a difference um, as things go along with that. Um, overall, though, the stability of the of the frame and everything does seem to be really, really good. Um, kind of interesting how this whole motherboard slots on the side here. And again, it's sort of reminiscent of uh, Prusa with linear rails and the bit on the side. And obviously uh, the Ender 3 as well with the power supply that's gonna whip onto this side, I believe as well. So the Solval SV6 is actually on a Black Friday deal for $229. That's down from $299. But what is it that you actually get for your money? Let's have a look. So the Soval SV6 is actually a pretty unique package as it comes complete with an all-metal planetary direct drive system capable of printing a range of materials including TPU, PLA, ABS, PETG, PC, ASA, nylon, carbon fiber and wood. What? The hot end is capable of printing up to 300 degrees. And that's not all. The SV06 is also used an inductive probe for auto bed leveling. An all-metal PEI sheet, 32-bit motherboard with TMC 2209s and a G34 Auto Z Align, which I'll touch on in a second. The apparent 220 by 220 by 250 build area, however, on the build sheet it does suggest 235 by 235, so I'm guessing we could look to maybe open that extra bit up, possibly inside Cura. Dual Zs and bed tensioning on the X and Y. And it seems that they have run this out, allowing users to access all the Marlin features from the display. I really have to say that at the moment, I can't really fault this printer other than the European power supply and perhaps it being a slight bit noisy. The resonance that this printer gives off using those rails means that you do get a small amount of noise. But if you put that onto a hard stone surface, it should eradicate that almost immediately. And since I've not worked with this brand before, I had assumed that they were kind of a Creality sub brand. And looking at some of their printers, I do believe that that is also kind of very similar to that fact. I believe that the linear rails on this printer will give you an extra level of precision to your prints, and it's also nice to see a printer without V-slot wheels. As you previously saw on building the printer, most of the parts are pre-assembled. It's two bolts either side to the left and the right of the Z-axis, three bolts for the print head and two bolts for the filament holder. On closer inspection of this printer, it does seem to only have really one downfall, and that's the filament runout sensor. 
being that it doesn't have one. But of course, these companies do have to save money in the right places. So filament runout sensor, it could potentially be put on at a later date. Now, taking a look over at the Sobel website, the printer source code is available and they seem to be giving out shipping information on their website too. What's going on, Sobel? Going out there, setting the standard for other 3D printing manufacturers? Fair play to you. So going back to the overall 3D printer design of the SV6, the machine is made to be maintained with ease. The moving parts are very easily accessible from being able to remove the hot end with three screws down to the rails, which will endure thousands of hours worth of free flowing movement. So the Soval SV6 is certainly a lot of printer for the money, certainly at the 229 mark for the Black Friday weekend. Now this code will be in my affiliate link at the bottom there. Also guys, if you've got any comments about this or you wanna know anything more about that, hit the comments out below let me know if you've got any questions, what you think about this video, what you think about this printer. Is it a viable option for you? Is this a great Christmas present for somebody special? Um, and I will say as well, this is a 3D filler print, a two-tone uh, filament that I've just printed out here. And I'll tell you what, that isn't half bad. There's a tiny amount of tuning that probably needs to be on this particular G-code. And certainly if you saw the little dog that I printed earlier, um, that is an exceptional print for what can only be described as a very, very cheap budget printer. So thank you very much to Soval for uh, sending me this printer for review. Guys, once again, please hit that subscribe button, chuck us a little like, and comments, as always, go in below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.